morning. Happy Sunday. So today is the second Sunday of the challenge, which means it is a stretch day. Today's just going to be a little bit of a flow. Go ahead and do some booty kickers. So heel comes up towards the booty. Notice how the knee is not moving up to the side, forward. The knee stays right there. We're just curling that hamstring, warming it up. If you'd like, bring those arms forward and then the elbows back. So every time the heel comes up, elbows come back. Just moving through the body, saying good morning to those muscles. <laughs> before we stretch them. So three, two, one, shake it out. Hands on the hips, a little bit of a march. So the knee comes up, foot is flexed. Hands on the hips to make sure we don't arch through that low back. Arms come up overhead, shoulders down away from the ears. As the knee comes up, elbows come down. Make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. And we'll pull back towards the spine, making sure we're arching on the low back. Abs engaged. Now a small twist. There's three, two, one. Shake it out. All right. So place your feet distance apart. And shift tap, shift tap. We're gonna add an arm swing. And just let your body move organically through this. And then there's some pops and crunches. Allow the spine to twist a little bit. Three, two, one. Keep going, a little overhead reach. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing. We'll hold it together, hold it center. Reach. Ah. Widen your stance a little bit. Go ahead and reach one arm over. Open up through the side body. Now make sure we're not collapsing in, okay? Spine stays nice and long. And imagine that you're keeping that length. I'm trying to point the head over. Arm comes up to lengthen this body, the side body. It's going to open the knee. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders drop away from the ears. Inhale. Bring it through. Shake it out. Other side. Hand on the hip. Turn that left arm up. And bring it on over again. Spine is nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the shoulders. Option to bring that lower arm down. And then opening up the side body, making sure we're not crunching into the back. The booty is squeezed. And bring it down. Shake it out. Now bring those toes forward, or actually toes can be slightly turned out. So natural stance. We're gonna lower down, hands on the knees, bending the knees, arching the back, and then slowly rounding, and then back up. Before coming all the way up, arch the back again. And yep, I'll show you the process. Let's see what I'm talking about with the back. Lower on down. And up. One more, but we're going to hold it at the bottom. Lower on down. Inhale. Exhale. Round the back. Inhale. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. And go ahead over all the way down. Let your whole upper body hang low. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Soft bend in the knees. Slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head is last to lift. Shake it out. Now we're going to bring the feet a little bit wider like a sumo position, come on down. Now notice, if my fingers point out, my shoulders tend to come up. So I would like for your elbows to come up so they can slide, shoulders can slide away from the ears. Deep inhale, and exhale. You wanna feel the stretch through the inner thighs. Inhale, and exhale. 
option to stay here or you can add a bit of a twist if it's available to you. And when it comes to stretching, you wanna make sure, release, switch sides. You wanna make sure you're always breathing. If you're not breathing, you're not actually stretching. You're just holding a very uncomfortable position. You wanna make sure you're breathing. Back to center. Now we're gonna come up a little bit. Toes rotate forward, forward fold. Lower all the way down. We're gonna feel this in the hamstrings, back of the legs. Release through the low back. Let the head hang heavy. Soften in the knees. Slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head is last to lift. Shoulders back. One, two, three, and bring it forward. One, two. Shake it up. For this next section, let's come on down to the floor. If you have a mat, awesome. I want you to come to a kneeling position. Hips over knee. Let's take that right leg forward. So you'll see there's a 90 degree bend in the front leg as well as in the back leg. Knee is directly overneath the heel. Hip is directly overneath the knee. Hands on the hips so that you're aware of where those hip bones are pointing. And now tuck the hips under. Hip flexor stretch. This is great if you sit a lot. We did this one last week. And exhale. Always drop those shoulders away from the ears. If you want to take this a step further, the same leg that's down, so in my case, the left leg is down. I'm going to bring the left arm up. Okay, inhale. And exhale. Keeping those hips tucked under, shoulders down. One more inhale. On the exhale, a slight arch or hinge over. Get a little bit deeper into that hip. One. And bring it right back up, lower the arm down. We're gonna extend this foot forward, flex the foot, hips go back. So we're gonna get into that hamstring. Okay. Now again, check those hips. I have the right foot's forward, point that right hip back to line with the left. You're gonna feel the hamstring a lot more. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. We're going to plant that foot back down, bend that front knee, curl the back toes under, and lift on up. Inhale. And exhale. Carefully lower that back knee down. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you can bend that back knee, taking that right arm, grab it onto the left foot, it's available to you, <laughs> and pulling it close. This will allow you to get into that quad a little bit. Bring both knees together. Child's pose. Bring the knees a little wider. Inhale. And exhale. Carefully come back up. Walk those knees back together. We'll be coming back to child's pose. Don't worry. This time take that left foot over. 90 degree bend. So it's going to be in front. 90 in the back. Take a look at those hips. Again, make sure that they're pointing straight forward. Hands on the hips and tuck under. Inhale. And exhale. You might not notice much movement before you feel a stretch. You also, when you feel a stretch, you never want it to be painful or an excessive pull. Option to bring that arm up. Inhale. Inhale. On the exhale, option to hinge over. the way back, flexing that front foot and extending that leg long, going into that hamstring. Now again, now we have the left leg in front. Bring that left hip back in line with the right. You will feel the hamstring a bit more. Try to keep that back flat. So think about inhale and exhale. Breathe into the hamstring. When you inhale, feel the space expand. When you exhale, feel it relax. Nice, we're gonna bend that front foot, 90 degrees, curl the toes under, lift on up to a lunge. 
Now at any point, if this does not feel good on your knees, definitely it would be an option to have more cushioning under the knees when you're kneeling. Um, do what is available for you. The fact that you are allocating time for stretching is super important. Kind of wear that back knee down. Option to reach back with the opposite arm or that foot. Taking the shoulders forward. Back to that child's pose. While we're here, take that left hand over to the left side. Right hand goes on top of the left hand. Sit back into that right hip, opening up that right side body. Inhale and exhale. Beautifully come back up. Right hand goes over to the right side. Left hand goes on top of the right. Sit back into that left hip. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. And then come back up. Bring your knees together. Let's take a seat. Can lay all the way back. Feet hip distance apart and parallel. Hands by your side. Now we're just going to move the knees one inch one way and one inch the other way. Again, very small. You may feel something. You may not. It's just great just to release any tension in the low back and the hip. Nice. So here we are. Let's take that left foot, cross it over to the right so that we're doing a little bit of a figure four stretch. And you can stay here and breathe if that feels good to you. Inhale. Exhale. You also have the option to take the hands, reach through the figure four, lifting that right leg or that bottom leg up, grabbing onto that hamstring. Inhale. And exhale. Take a look at that right knee. Is it directly over the hip? If not, adjust it. See how that may change the stretch for you. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, yes. Carefully release, placing that right foot back on the ground. And cross the legs at the knee. Or whatever feels good for you. Arms come out to the side. Inhale. As you exhale, bring both legs over to that right side as far as feels comfortable for you. A little bit of the spinal twist. Option to rotate the head over to that left side. Couple breaths here. Gaze back up to center. Bring the legs back up. Now, when you bring your legs back, make sure that you actively engage the core. Legs, wiggle the knees side to side. You can take that little right ankle on the left knee. Option to stay here, deep inhale and exhale. You also have the option to take the hands through the floor, lifting that left leg up, grabbing on underneath the hamstring. Try to relax the shoulders. Deep inhale and exhale. Again, be aware of where that knee is. You want to make sure it's right over the hip. Once you make that adjustment, see how it may change that stretch for you. And make it a bit harder. Deep inhale. And exhale. And release. Nice enough, back down. Cross the legs if it's built. We're going to bring the legs over to that left side this time. Arms out to the side. side and come on up. Take a seat. Clasp the hands together behind you. Open up the chest. Reach those fingertips long. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and slide them down the back. Opening up the chest. Inhale and exhale. Last inhale and exhale. Shake it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Sunday. Tomorrow we are going right back into a squat challenge. So enjoy today. Get that walk in. Get your water in. And I hope you have a good day.